Welcome back to how to solve simultaneous linear equations and here we're getting into some methods that are a little bit different. So we've tried the first three, we're now moving on to using the method of determinants. So how do we do that? Well, let's take it one step at a time. What we can say is that the x value of these two equations will be equal to d sub x divided by the determinant d and the y value will be equal to d sub y divided by the determinant d. So you say, well, okay, that's nice, but what are those things? Well, we'll get there. So first we're going to find what we call the determinant. And the determinant can be written as such. We draw the two lines, and within the two lines we're going to draw the elements of the determinant, which means the coefficients of the two variables. So in this case we have a 1, a 1, a 1, and a negative 1. So we plug in a 1, a 1, a 1, and a negative 1. So we write what we call the elements, which represent the coefficients of the two variables in each of the two equations. Again, in order to be able to solve the equation this way, you definitely have to write it in this format right here, with the x and y on one side and the numbers on the other side. So how do you solve the determinant? How do you calculate that? The way you do that is you multiply the diagonal numbers, so 1 times the negative 1, and subtract from that the product of the other two de determinants in the other diagonal, 1 times 1. So, this becomes 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 minus 1 times 1, which is minus 1, or negative 2, which means the determinant of this set of equations is negative 2. And you can see that that goes into the denominator of each of these two fractions. So here we can say, whatever that is, the denominator is going to be minus 2, and whatever that is, the denominator is going to be minus 2. So now we have to find the d sub x and the d sub y. Now the d sub x is equal to the very same determinant except the numbers here on the right side of the equal sign replacing the coefficients of x. So that means instead of writing 1 and 1 for the coefficient of x here and the coefficient of x there, we're going to replace the 1 and 1 with a 5 and a 7. So this is 5 and a 7 and we keep the coefficients of the y, 1 and negative 1. Again, to solve the determinant, we have to multiply the two numbers in the diagonal here, which is a 5 times a negative 1, and subtract from that the, the product of these two, which is 7 and 1. So this is 5 times a negative 1, which is minus 5, minus 7 times 1 is minus 7, or minus 12. So d sub x is the result of calculating the determinant sub x, and that goes up in here, minus 12. And so that means if I divide minus 12 by minus 2, I get a positive 6. So the solution to this set of linear equations for x, the place where they cross, we know that the x-coordinate is going to be 6. Now we have to still calculate the d sub y. And the d sub y is equal to the same determinant that we had over here, except with the coefficients for the y variable replaced by the 5 and the 7 over here. So the numbers on that side. So we keep the x coefficients and we replace a plus 1 and the minus 1 by plus 5 and a, and a plus 7, like so. And then again, to calculate this determinant, we multiply the numbers in the diagonal here, 1 times 7, and we subtract from that when we multiply the two numbers here, which is 1 times 5. And so this is 7 minus 5, or a 2 which goes in here, and so 2 divided by negative 2 is a minus 1, and that would be the y-coordinate of the point where the two lines cross, so the solution would be 6 and a minus 1. Now, just to make sure we did this correctly, let's plug these numbers into our equations here and see if they make sense. So we take the equation x plus y equals 5, plug in the value 6 for x, the value negative 1 for y, and sure enough, a 6 minus 1 is indeed 5, so that's correct. Doing the same with the second equation, x minus y equals 7, plug in the 6, and subtract from that the negative 1, and sure enough, when you subtract the negative number, that becomes like a positive number, 6 plus 1, 
and that's indeed equal to 7, so it looks like we found the right equations. I always found this kind of a, an interesting way of doing it, uh, but if we follow this procedure, it usually leads you to the right answer.